Okay, so I want to talk about another new clean flight feature, uh, which I've just implemented over the last couple of days. Um, the idea is that you can use a transmitter and the various different switches on it uh, to do various different things, um, such as adjusting the RC rate while you are flying. Um, so, how does this work? The idea is that you assign a switch so that when it's in the up position, the function increases. When it's in the middle, it does nothing. When it's in the down position, it decreases. You can make it so that this only does that, um, as in changing the RC rate, when another switch is in a particular position. So when it's moving up and down, this is called an in-flight adjustment. When this channel is in a particular range, that's called an adjustment range. An adjustment range affects an adjustment slot. So you can have four switches doing four different things at the same time. So you can have one, for instance, doing RC rate. You could have another three position switch doing uh, P, another one controlling I, and one controlling D. So you can make it so you can have your PID positions. Or if you've got a, a pot um, or a three position switch, you can make it so that if one switch is down, then another three position switch, like the one over here, can adjust P. Then you can also make it so that if this is in the middle position, then you can make it so that this switch over here controls I by increasing it or decreasing it, depending on the switch position. And again, you can have this one so that it's when it's up, you can make it so that the switch on the other side controls D. So basically, using two three position switches, you can do manual PID adjustment whilst you are flying. So how do you configure and work this? Now at the moment this is all CLI based and it's a little bit cryptic because it's um because uh, I'm a developer and I've been setting this stuff up and I have not updated the user interface yet. So let me show you uh, the RC rate side of things first because that's the only one that's currently implemented. Um, here it is. So on the screen here, if I just refresh this, we can see that my RC rate is 0 0.89. And my switch here is in the down position. This is in the up position, down position. This is up and down here. So with that in the middle, which is default off position, and with this down, nothing is happening to the RC rate. So if I refresh the screen over here, we can see that nothing is happening to it if I keep clicking the refresh button. So if I then move this switch into the up position and refresh the screen a couple of times, you can see that still nothing is happening to RC rate. Now, if I move the switch over here to the up position and leave it in that position and keep clicking refresh, you will see that twice a second the number goes up and you can see the graph changing as well. I'm clicking refresh, that's what the clicky noise is. Now, if I move this switch back into the middle position and then click refresh, you can see that it has stopped updating and where I change the switch is this position here. So RC rate is now fixed at that position. If I was to toggle the switch up and up and up and up, it would go from whatever value it was at up four times. This one here I was a bit slow so it might have gone up five times. So we'll refresh it and see what the value is. So we're expecting this to be 1.24 or 1.25. 1.24, there it is. So that corresponds with how many times I press the switch up and put it back to the middle again. So you can use momentary three position switches for this and hold it in, in place, or you can increase it quicker by repeatedly pressing the switch in the given direction. So I will just uh, make it go down as well, the opposite. So if I push this switch in the down position and keep refreshing the screen over here, you can see that the rate is going down. And if I then switch, leave that position, leave this one where it was, this is the one that controls up and down, and then turn this functionality off using this switch, we will see that if I keep clicking refresh over here, the rate is no longer decreasing. So, how is this currently configured? So, I'm using two aux channels here. You can see on the screen when I move the two position switch, which is my mode on off switch, the aux one changes between low and high. My three position switch is aux three, which is this one here. And you can see it going between the three different positions. 
So if we switch over to the CLI tab and type in ADJ range, which is adjustment range, we can see the values of how I've got these, the first two things configured. So what this line is saying here, if I can recap this, this is saying for adjustment range zero, use the adjustment slot zero and use aux channel one, and this is a zero based index. So the first aux channel is zero, the second aux channel is one. So if you wanted aux two, this would be a number one here. So it says when this is within the range 900, when aux one is in the range 900 to 1700, do nothing, which is the function that's zero. When channel three, as in uh, aux three, channel two, again, one based index, zero based index, sorry, uh, do nothing when that channel is in within that range. So this is how you turn the functionality off. To turn the functionality on, you need another range slot, which says adjustment range one uses slot zero, as in the same slot that this one is using, using the same aux channel, but with a different range, the higher range between 1700 and 2100. So when this channel is in this range, then it applies this function to this channel. This function number one is RC rate. And channel two here is aux three again. So basically it says that when this switch is low, then do nothing. When this switch is high, then this switch has an effect on the system. And you can also make it so that um, an adjustment range, you can use it, so, um, you can have it so that the adjustment range and the functionality uses the same switch. So there's another switch on my transmitter over here. So I'll show you how this one works. Basically, when this switch is down, the rate is changed downwards. And when this switch is up, the rate is changed upwards. That is basic, and it doesn't need any other switches to do that. So this is basically saying when aux channel one, oh, sorry, when I'm using adjustment slot one, which is the, a different slot to these two, when adjustment slot one, um, sorry, use adjustment slot one. When aux four, as in channel th uh, three, uh, index three, is within anywhere in the range, as in 900 to 2100, which is the full range, then apply RC rate on channel three. So you notice that this three here and this three is the same one. They refer to the same channel, which is aux four. So if I exit this, go onto the receiver tab, I can show you that working. So with this switch in the middle position, as it is at the moment, that's up and down. With that switch in the middle position, if we have a quick look at the rate, it's on 0 0.84. So if I then move this switch down and leave it down, we can see that the RC rate is starting to decrease. If I then put the switch in the up position, the rate is going up. And if I put it in the middle position, the RC rate is not doing anything at all anymore, which is great. So the idea with having uh, flexible positions that you can specify as in ranges for these, um, for the functionality is so that if you've got a six position switch, you could potentially adjust up to six different things using a six position switch and a th uh, sorry, a six position switch and a three position switch. So if you had a six position switch and it was all the way on the left, you could say that is my RC rate adjustment mode. And then you could use a three position switch to increase or decrease the rate. Then if you move the six position switch into the next position, you could control the P. Next position I, next position D, and so on. And changing whatever settings the system allows you to change. At the moment I say it's only rate, but it'll let us do other things soon. So that's a work in progress. Um, the code is currently in a different branch. It'll be merged into the master branch soon, and the, a user interface will be created for it at some point. Okay, uh, enjoy.